Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Um, in our last session, we started talking about uh, reading data uh, and individual data based on an ID. Uh, what we're going to do is start modifying our queries so that they um, use uh, parameters to look up information. Um, we simply, before, we just used a query that was based on a string that we passed it that was just a very straight SQL statement. There's nothing really wrong with that in, in the way it looks right now, but um, as uh, our queries get a little bit more extensive, we need to be a little bit more secure and safe with the way we uh, pass information around. Sometimes it needs to be uh, a little less generic if you will. So we're going to look at uh, modifying our base repository. Now what we uh, what we need here is um, we have uh, the functionality in uh, the command object to pass in a list of parameters. All right we have input and output and return value parameters. There's a few others but those are the general ones that we're most concerned about. Uh, what we are going to do here is we're going to set up a, a list of SQL parameter objects. <clears throat> okay, we're going to call this parameters. All right. Now this uh, this parameter list um, essentially all it does is it looks it, it is we're just going to fill this list every time we want to query something. We fill this list with a bunch of parameters, and then. Um, and then in our execute query function, we're going to add some functionality that tests to say to see if if our parameters actually has um, has items in it. Uh, so here we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to say if our parameters have more than more than zero items. In other words, if if there's zero items, that we don't need to process anything. Uh, then add in the parameters. Okay, parameters dot add range. All right. Now it is a list. Okay, and this requires that it takes in an array type. You see it right here where I'm pointing to. Okay. Now in the list functionality, we have this ability to convert our list to an array, which makes it really nice and simple for us. Okay. So if we have more more than zero pr parameters. We're going to add the parameters to our uh, to our command before we do the execute. Okay. Now in um, in the repository here, we're going to make some modifications. So before we actually run our parameters um, or our ramp run our query, we have to add some parameters. All right. So here we do this. So we do uh, like that. And so we're going to give this a name. Okay, so the name is parameter name. There we go. Okay, the name equals at address ID. And this generally, for the most part, doesn't always have to be that way, uh, generally corresponds with. Uh, that parameter kind of thing. It's address ID equals address ID. Now you may create other things that that require uh, a different uh, different naming style. You can call it anything you like. You just call it ID as long as the parameter is associated with the correct uh, element. All right. The uh, in, in this case, case we're going to set the uh, the type. Okay, uh, is equal to. <coughs> This is an integer, okay, that we're sending in because uh, address ID is an integer, all right. And then we have a value that we're going to pass in as well, which is the value that's coming in from here, address ID, all right. And then that little thing is complaining with the red underline because we have no semicolon. Now, right now, we only have one parameter. And that's it. We got nothing to think about. At the end, we have to do a little bit of housekeeping. Okay. Uh, we have to uh, set parameters equal to no. Okay. And we actually also need to do one more thing here. Okay. We have to set parameters equal to new. 
right? List of parameters because in our, our, our base repository, all we're doing is we're just setting it up as an object. It doesn't do anything. It's not set up yet. It's not configured. It doesn't, uh, it's not instantiated yet. So we have to say that we have to create it, all right? Now, the next thing <clears throat> is um, we should be up and running and ready to go, but we uh, have to make some modifications here to our query. Um, take away that. And from what I can see, we're ready to run our query. So I'm going to give this a try. We'll push start. And if everything went well, we should have some values that came back from this. Let's find out. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, something went wrong. Okay. What went wrong? Parameters equals no. Let's find out why. Okay. We go back over here because when we ran it, we set it up. We said create a new list of parameters and we add in a new list, a new uh, item here. So somewhere along the lines, our list of parameters is being set to, uh, to null. So let's find out why. Ah, I see. Okay. Yes. That is coming from over here when we're getting our list right over here. That one. Okay. So we have to make a modification here. It's basically just a approving point. All right. So we'll say if parameters not equal to null. And we'll just wrap that. Okay. Throw that down there. Okay. Control KD. There we go. Let's try this again. This should be okay now. All right. We do have a, have a parameters. We're now into our second read. All right. So we were able to use our parameter to look up the information here. It uh, also worked in the sense that if I didn't provide parameters, it just gave me everything here. Uh, so that's uh, that's it for using our read parameters. Okay, guys, that's it for this session. Uh, remember to like and share and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, the next session is going to be talking about uh, inserting data and using parameters to retrieve the uh, newly inserted IDs. Thanks a lot, guys. Join me soon.